So we're given a lot and we know that the area is split up so that the building takes up the same amount of area as the lawn around which has a uniform width which is why they're all marked X. So we know the total area of the lot because we could just multiply the 18 by the 24 which gives us 432 square yards so that's the total area but what we want to do is figure out what are the dimensions of the building. So the easiest way is by marking these all X we can now build a model of our situation because if we look at this length of the building here well we know that from here to here was 24 we're taking off X on this side and X on this side this is 24 minus 2x. Real similar, this is going to be 18 minus 2x. So the area of the building in terms of x is going to be 18 minus 2x times 24 minus 2x equals the, that area that we mentioned, half of the total area. So 1 half times the 18 times the 24. This is the total area. We're taking half of it because half of it's split in the lawn and half of it's used for the building. So what we'll do now is we'll multiply this all out and we will get a quadratic. Uh, for time's sake, I'm just going to write out the uh, multiplied out version. And so on the left hand side, we are going to have 432 minus 30, actually minus, let's just go right to 84x plus 4x squared. That comes from foiling out that left-hand side. And the right-hand side gives us 216. Now there are ways we can solve from here. Graph both sides, find where they intersect. But we always want to get a quadratic equal to zero so we can solve by hand. So, and I'm going to write it in descending order. So 4x squared minus 84x. If I subtract the 216 off of each side, that gives me a plus 216 equals zero. So these are the same equation. And I can factor a 4 out of there. So x squared minus 21x plus 54 equals zero. And now this quadratic, we can put into our quadratic formula. For time's sake, I'm going to give you the answers because we've had other practice of doing the quadratic formula. You get two answers. You get x equals 3 and x equals 18. But if we look at our context, 18 is not going to make any sense because that would give us a negative length for the building. So in this context, 18 doesn't work. So x is going to be 3. And all we have to do now is sub that in to get the lengths of our building. So subbing 3 in for x, this one would become 12 and this one would become 18 and our units on those would be yards so those would be the dimensions of the building that meet this criteria